Hello everyone! With Star Wars The Old Republic's expansion coming out in holidays of 2021, the developers have released the first version of the public test server to test out some major changes to combat. We thought we were going to be getting the first iteration of what we thought of as combat styles, which was in short the ability to play different advanced classes without them having being to be highly tied to the original classes. So example, you could play a trooper sniper versus only the uh, Imperial agent could play a sniper before. But what we got was something completely different. And I highly recommend anyone who plays, especially the Jedi Guardian, come help test this out. So what we got on the public test server instead was the ability to test out the Jedi Knight Guardians three combat proficiencies, the same as we have now, so focus, vigilance, and defense, but we got some major changes, and I'll let you make your own uh, ideas about whether you like them or not, um, with how our combat abilities are granted or what we have to choose. So for example, whether you get your abilities uh, just by leveling up or choosing them through the utilities. So here's how to actually test this iteration of the test server. They've said very clearly this is the very first, very bare bones iteration of this system. So it is not fully complete and you can get a lot more information on the public test server forums. I highly recommend that before you log into the public test server, you take a chance to read the information they presented about the Jedi Knight Guardian on the public test forums first. But here's how to actually test. So first, Download and install the PTS and log in the public test server. I've got a separate video about how to do that because that'll work all the time. This is only for the current iteration of the test server um, that came out on Friday, July 9th, 2021. So what they want you to do is create a Jedi Knight and test out the Jedi Knight Guardian. So you need to first create a character, brand new level one character. You will not be able to transfer characters over. It's uh, the whole transfer character thing is removed right now for the test server or copy a character. So you'll see the option to uh, to create other classes. It's not going to be useful to you at all. Just create a Jedi Guardian and go from there. A lot of the other classes are kind of a hot mess right now. So we're gonna make we're gonna make a Twi'lek. Oh yeah, let's random her up. Sure, and her name is gonna be Potato. Nice. And you will notice that things take a little longer to load on the public test server compared to everything else. So you can press Escape when you see that pop up because I'm sure you've already seen that before. And just a reminder, you need to be subscribed to the game currently if you want to help test on the test server. Um, it's also going to be a little rough for you to test if you've never played a Jedi Guardian at all before. Once again, press the space bar, press escape. Ta-da! We're not doing the class story today. Oh no, we're going to boost ahead. So just run outside um, as if you're going to take the taxi. You'll notice you won't have any abilities at all, which is kind of a... It looks like a hot mess, don't worry. We are on the test server. So we are going to go get this character set up. So this is where the taxi normally is for the Jedi Knight. Instead, you're going to look for this little guy called the PTS Fleet Teleport. And all you have to do is talk to him. Hello, would you like to teleport back to the fleet? And yes, absolutely. Yes, please, this potato. And you're going to load into the fleet. And I know a lot of you are looking forward to testing out the other stuff like, Oh my god, can I play my Jedi Counselor with lightning? Can I still use lightning on my Sith Inquisitor and all that? None of that. None of that is available. The giant list of questions I had from the live stream about combat styles, none of them have any answers at all. Um, so what you need to do is, once you land on the fleet from the shuttle, you're going to go head over to the elevator. If you need to, press M for map to, to open up the map and see where it is if you get lost. And then you're going to open your map, look for combat training, and you'll just be heading over to the right here. Sweet, and it's the very first room that's right here is the new Jedi Knight area. This is where the Jedi Knight trainer used to be, I believe, but now it is very, very different. So here's the, here's the Jedi Knight trainer, but there's also 40 other NPCs. And as you can see, there's a lot of players testing out the system right now. So what you need to do to test it out is talk to this droid called PTS CD3 Combat Specializer Droid. That droid on the left. So he's going to say, hi, please choose a discipline. So the options you're going to have are focus, 
vigilance, and defense. These are actually exactly the same as on the current test, uh, current server, the real server, the live server. How you would normally go and do this is you would choose combat proficiencies, K on your keyboard, K for combat, and you would choose it from a drop down list. And unfortunately, there is no combat proficiencies panel or anything like that on the public test server right now. Nada. You can't see a majority of the new stuff like visually. Um, you can only get to it through talking to these droids. In the real deal, I would assume you would choose something like this from the drop down and be able to, to switch between them that way with a UI. But it seems like the UI is not in any way finished yet for you guys to be able to see. So we're going to talk to the droid. Um, focus, Vigilance, or Defense. If you aren't sure which one to choose, I personally recommend to choose Focus because Focus is the one that they've presented the most information about on the public test server forum. So you might be able to follow along a little better. So I'm going to choose Focus. So here's the option that confuses a lot of people. Which loadout would you like to try? A or B? And this is where things start getting a little crazy and hard to understand. So we're going to go to the public test server forums and we're going to go to the thread called Jedi Guardian on the PTS. And I'll link this in the description too. So the way it works now is um, instead of choosing your utilities, some of your utilities are worked into your leveling choices and some of your abilities are worked into your leveling choices. We didn't really get any choices except for our utilities in the past. So the way it's going to work now is uh, they posted this, which is for the Focus Guardian. And I've translated this into a graphic, which I will also link in the description of this video. So if you were leveling up naturally, you would get a few of these abilities, just like that. You would get them as you level up. Then at level 15, it would require you to choose. So in this case, the choice is between Blade Burst, which uh, gives you a little boost, Saber Throw, which is an actual ability that lets you throw your lightsaber, and Energy Barrage, which is a different type of boost. Um, you'll notice they have A and B on them. In the normal server, like the uh, what they're saying the live server will be like without any changes, is that you'll be able to choose Blade Burst or Saber Throw or Energy Barrage, and you can only have one at any given time. However, you'll notice that on the test server, there's a... <laughs> Stop inviting me to the skill, it's been happening all day. There's no place you can go pick between all three of those. It's not quite ready yet. So instead, they're saying, talk to the robot, choose your discipline, then choose, would you like all of the A abilities or all of the B abilities today? And the C abilities uh, aren't even an option today on the test server. In the future, it sounds like you will be able to mix and match. Like maybe I can take Blade Burst here and Unstable Focus here and at level 30, I'll pick Zealous Discovery. And but on the test server, I can only choose to want Blade Burst and Focusing Strike or Energy Barrage and Zenith. Um, one's kind of more offensive and one's more defensive. So I'll choose A for now. See forum post for details is a really important part of this A-B choice. Don't just like choose it and then complain about it because you don't know what it is. So now the robot has boosted me to level 75. It's given me a million credits, so I have enough credits to go do stuff with. It's also given me my abilities. I won't be able to see them all. Go Escape Interface Editor Advanced, and that'll um, give you more of your quick bars. There is, however, a bug. You may need to talk to the robot a second time and go through the same choices again, and that'll grant you the rest of any abilities that you are missing. Um, you can also press P on your keyboard and grab any of the abilities that didn't quite make it onto your bars, which is a separate bug. Some of them are in here, but they didn't quite make it onto here. Um, you'll notice they're all in the Guardian tab now. Um, so what has changed uh, is that that A, B, and C choice. Um, one of the biggest differences that I wanted to show you is that, say you're level 70, and I think this applies the same for focus, vigilance, and defense, though I'm not 110% sure. And they also haven't clarified if this is final or not. They released this on a Friday, so we can't, like, <laughs> they've all gone home for the weekend. We can't really get any updates about it. At level 70, you would need to choose between Saber Reflect, Blade Blitz, or a Nur. So you'll notice when you go to choose A or B, you'll only get one of these three. Whereas before, you would have had all three and you could choose when to use them in combat. Um, now you would only get one of the three. Uh, you will, it sounds like, be able to choose between which of the three you want in the future. But right now, it'll auto-choose A or B. So Blade Blitz or Saber Reflect for you. 
Um, this is a really big design philosophy change that a lot of players are discussing because before they would have all three. Some of the other choices, there's still choices. For example, if you know the ability Awe, it's a it's a st AOE stun. You can basically stun things around you. Um, it'll go away if you decide to choose one of these two other kind of buffs, these two other things that'll help you. You won't get Awe. You can only choose one of the three. But the one that's been the most <gasps> shocking is the level 70 choice between Saber Reflect, Blade Blitz, and Inure. And then, but some, uh, you might notice some of the other smaller ones. For example, at level 15, you would need to choose between a buff, a buff, and your Saber Throw. And if you chose uh, one of these two on the sides, so you wouldn't have your Saber Throw on your bars at all. So how can you go about testing how you feel about this? Um, first off, there's three different vendors here. These will get you weapons and accessories, so you'll need to get... Uh, as a Jedi Guardian, I want to get a lightsaber and I think like a focus. Yeah. Uh, two implants, earpiece, and two probably attacky relics. And then you'll also want to go get um, the <laughs> Guradian and Juggernaut equipment. And uh, you can go pick up a set bonus of your choice. Oh, here comes the train. We're not mutant. Sorry, train. Lastly, once you've done that and you've picked them and geared up and note that the one that you may have picked in past servers may not be not may not be useful here on the test server. We're kind of missing some abilities like um, force clarity. We don't know what happened to it. You'll talk to this droid on the far right called the Onderon Dreams travel agent. So you'll talk to this droid um, after you've been boosted to level 75. You've picked focus, vigilance, or defense. You've picked whether you want to try the A or B uh, pre-saved loadout. In the future, you'll be able to, pre to custom pick which ones you want. And you can go to Onderon. I do recommend to go to Onderon regardless of how you decide to go about testing your new guardian who would be fully geared up by now. You can then run or Blade Blitz if you happen to, to, to get that ability. You'll notice that you won't have any of your normal abilities from the main server. You won't have any rocket boost or, or mounts or anything like that. You also don't even have a don't even have a legacy in here. You'll run outside. You'll run to the right here. And there will be a terminal right here. And this terminal is super useful because it will give you a quest called Let's Play Some Dailies, which will give you a speeder. It will also make the Onderon level 75 dailies available to you if you want to go run them. I think that's kind of what they're suggesting to go to go run, to go test out your new um, Jedi Knight Guardian. Um, one thing to note, though, is if you happen to manage to get your way into other types of content, like if you manage to make your way to Coruscant, Everything on Coruscant is going to be low level and you're going to be high level and there's no sync right now on the test server. It's kind of like a, not a bug, it's just a known thing. They, you're going to go annihilate everything and it's not going to be a useful test. Um, same thing for if you happen to get a group together and go run operations. If you're running, say, Eternity Vault, you're going to be 75 and it's going to be level 70. So you would I assume you'd have to go play level 75 content, which can include, off the top of my head... Um, the Corellia Flashpoint, I believe, is level 75. Then the Nature of Progress Operation is level 75. And then pretty much everything else is going to be too low level for you to test. So what are you actually testing? What do they want you to test with these big changes that we're seeing? Well, that's going to be on the public test server forums. So they want you to test. Go to the thread Jedi Guardian Feedback. And here's the questions. Does this feel like a Jedi Guardian? Is there anything that feels missing or out of place in the rotation? What are your initial thoughts with the effectiveness of the Jedi Guardian against enemies? How are you enjoying or not enjoying this class? If you have feedback on the different disciplines and ability paths, please note your feedback accordingly so we can track it. Um, and so you can go, what they want you to do is actually take this Jedi Guardian and go play some content with it with the skill set that you have available based on the loadout that you picked. So if you picked uh, Jedi Guardian Focus A, make sure you say you po picked that and tell them what you think about it. I especially want to see you guys give feedback who have played the Jedi Guardian. I have just started learning the Jedi Guardian tank, so I was able to give a little bit of feedback about that. 
Um, but it's very difficult for those of you who are very familiar with the classes to give feedback because um, you can't see the new passive abilities in any way. The only way you know they exist are from that public test forum page called Jedi Guardian on the PTS. And you can get an idea of that in the spoilers tab. Like for example, if I choose Jedi Knight Guardian Focus A, I'll get a new ability called energy barrage which adds energy damage to blade barrage and it now mobilizes the target but you can't see that energy energy whatever it's called energy barrage anywhere on here because there's no combat proficiencies and there's no it's not in the abilities list so you kind of have to take it on ear so just play it see how it feels is it fun does it feel like a jedi guardian to you and keep in mind that we're we have no easy ability to switch between the um combat proficiencies right now so uh while you're missing abilities you will be able to switch between them in some capacity in the future they just didn't do a good job talking about that or saying how that will work yet we have so many unanswered questions and i have so many more questions than i did before but i hope you guys are able to give your feedback about whether you like or dislike the now pruned down jedi guardian that has choices but less abilities at any given time okay see you guys later